Bend notch features can be applied to the flat pattern of sheet metal designs to assist in the process of manufacturing by creating small cutouts at the ends of selected bend lines. These notches indicate to manufacturers where the press brake should be positioned when creating the bends and also allow operators to more easily align the bend with the tooling, streamlining the process and improving consistency. It's significantly faster to use bend notch features than to create these notches manually, so let's take a look at how to use them in SOLIDWORKS 2025. To create a bend notch, first begin with a sheet metal part containing at least one bend, and then activate the flat pattern. Remember, bend notches cannot be added to folded parts, and by design, they will not appear in the folded state. Then navigate to the Insert dropdown, then Sheet Metal, then Bend Notch. You may notice that the Bend Notch feature is not available in the Sheet Metal tab of the Command Manager by default, so if you intend to use it frequently, you may wish to customize your UI to include it. Once the command is active, you can select bend lines in the graphics area to apply the notches individually, or if preferred, the Collect All Bends button can be used to select all the bends in the part at once. Then choose between a triangular, circular, or rectangular profile for the notches and specify a size. Finally, click OK to see the finished result. Bend notches applied to the flat pattern will be included in any flat pattern drawings or exported DXF files to be used for manufacturing. As a final note, one common warning associated with bend notches will indicate that the notch is too wide for the current bend allowance. This warning can be addressed by reducing the size of the notch, changing the material thickness, or increasing the bend allowance, although adjusting bend allowance to allow for wider notches is not recommended as this value is typically standardized. If you found this video useful, do us a favor and give it a like to help other SOLIDWORKS users find it too. And consider subscribing to the channel for future videos on all the updates and enhancements coming to SOLIDWORKS 2025. Or better yet, go watch the full What's New series available now over at SolidProfessor.com. And if you're interested in learning more about sheet metal tools and design practices, be sure to take a look at our SOLIDWORKS sheet metal course, which includes dozens of lessons covering basic and advanced design techniques along with a couple different strategies for converting standard parts into sheet metal. You'll also find guided exercises and even prep material covering the advanced CSWP exam for sheet metal. Thanks for watching and see you next time. <laughs>